Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the update for this week of some new content. We have a good amount of decent clothes that actually came out this week. So let's go ahead and just check out in the general store and look in the catalog and see what we have. So let's go ahead and look at the hats first. The first one is a Tribly hat. Not a bad looking hat. And not too bad, $68, no gold to have to get different colors. Next one is three gold bars only is a Hurley cap. And it looks like a train conductor hat. So um, it might fit your guys' outfits. I don't think I'd spend three gold bars on this myself though. Let's go to the next one. And the Ledbetter hat, that one's available again. It's six gold bars. And it's actually not a bad looking hat. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it, but I don't think I like it for six gold bars. I might later on, but I don't know. I probably like it a little bit more without the feathers, but it's not a bad looking hat, but three, six gold bars is a lot for a hat. And let's look at the Bartley cap. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like it and I kind of don't, but uh, that's $108. And um, there is no gold bars to upgrade to other different variant colors. So that's good at least. And then we have the Kerrigan hat. It's $120. And no gold bars to upgrade variants on this one either. I kind of like this one though. Um, I don't know if it fits my character, but I kind of like this one though. And there is also a new poncho. You just have to go under coats to find it. And it's still the same kind of style as the other one, though. But it's the Fuentes Poncho. $245, though. I do like it, though. I do like the color variants on it. Uh, I just wish it was a full poncho down, you know, across the front of the character. And there's two new shirts. The first one is the Chafton shirt, or Chafton shirt. And uh, it's not too bad looking. And then the second one is the Olmo shirt. It's two gold bars. And I kind of like it though, I kind of like this shirt. And this is what the back of the shirt looks like. It looks kind of cool though. What is that, a wolf? Yeah, not too bad looking. And then we also have a new vest. It is six gold bars though. It is a Kilimanjaro vest. And it's just not too bad looking. Like I said, it's gonna probably work better if your character is kind of more like a hunter. But it's not a bad looking vest. But six gold bars. Um, there's a lot of gold bars in the clothing this week. And then we have a new set of pants, the Holman pants. And here you go, you got different colors. None of them need gold to unlock them, which is a good thing. And then we have two sets of boots, the Strayhorn boots, $159. Uh, they kind of look like Uggs. <laughs> But uh, not too bad if your guy is going to be uh, up in the winter hunting and stuff like that. So not too bad, but $159 for him. And then we have the Ruth the Third boots, $104.50. And it's not bad looking boots. Um, not a bad price on them either, but I kind of like the design. I don't have my character's uh, pants tucked in, but like the gray right there looks kind of nice though. I like them. And for the women, they have the Hadley skirt, four gold bars. Here you go, the different colors here. Now, all the hats that was available for the men character is available for the women. And they're all, of course, the same price, same colors. Now, for the women's characters, the shirts are different looking. Um, I guess you say this Heretta uh, shirt waist is three gold bars. Not a bad looking shirt actually though. And then the other one is the Winford shirt waist, $39.50. Kind of just a basic looking shirt. And then the women also have the Killaman vest, which is six gold bars as well. And then also to the Holman pants is also available for the woman character, as well as the Strayhorn boots and the Rutherford boots. So yeah, guys, that's what we have this week for new clothing. Not too bad. A little bit high priced on some of the gold bars, but overall not too bad at all. So I hope this video helped you guys stay up to date with what's going on with uh, Red Dead Online. The clothing and stuff wasn't in the newswire. They didn't actually say what came out. So I wanted to make sure to cover it by itself in a video just so you could kind of go through and know what's out there. So I appreciate it if you like and share this video with your friends. 
also to subscribe and click that notification bell so anytime I have videos come out you get notified right away as always guys I'll catch you next time in the next video